In this video, we will go over how to create this anime HUD in geometry nodes. Let's begin by closing that and adding a cube. And we're going to click new geometry nodes. We're going to start with a curve line. Plug this in. And I'm going to add a expression here, which is hashtag sign frame. 0.1 which is a wiggle expression and that will create this let's continue by adding a resample curve and parts that I want to control I'm going to be plugging into this group input node so I'm going to turn this to 24 and I'm going to do an instance on points do a curve circle node for my instance which we'll place it this and now we have this cool animation so I'm also going to add a random value node which is used quite often in geometry nodes I'm going to plug this into the scale and do e divided by 16 which is just an irrational number that I like to use. And we already have something that looks sort of neat, but we want it to be more complex. I forgot, by the way, too, in this initial animation, I have it rotated and I do 137.5 times 0.3. Let's adjust this radius to six to make it a hexagon. And let's change this radius. And I want to control both of these as well. Oh, plug this into here. So as you plug the group inputs in, you will get access over here. Now I'm going to add a capture attribute node change this to integer, change this to spline, and I want an index node, and plug this into the value, do a resample, Sorry, I'm going to do realize instances here and do a resample curve node. Add a new random value node and place this. Sorry, rather change this to integer so that it works in here. Plug this value into the count. Turn this to eight. 128. Plug the attribute into the ID. And I'm going to now put this resample curve into another instance on points. And now my instance will be a cube. Plug this into instance. And now it's a complete mess because I need to scale these down. And you can now see I have what's similar to the shape that I had in the example. I want to control the rotation. So I'm gonna do a rotate Euler. change those settings, plug this into here, align Euler to vector, stick this into the rotation, and do a curve, remember because we're using a curve here, and a curve tangent into the uh, vector, change this to 1, and change this to 90, and we're almost done. I want to do another realize instances and a set 
material. And because this is a geometry nodes tutorial, I just want to go quickly over the shader that I've created here, which is this. It is a mix shader with an emission. Choose any color you want from an anime that you like. I chose a neon Genesis Evangelion. I plugged the transparent and then a Fresnel node at 2.5. In this instance too, I had backface culling and then alpha blend turned on to make the transparency actually work. So now that we've gotten through that part, we want to add one more thing to this to make it more interesting. We're going to do a displace node. And I'm going to use a previous texture that I used. Turn this down to let's let's do 0.1. And I want to control this with an, an empty. So I'm going to add an empty and I'm going to rotate it. So hashtag frame divided by 24. And I want to adjust the location. So hashtag negative frame divided by 24. So that is animated and I'm going to choose that empty. And you can see it's a little more interesting now. So that pretty much does it. I'm going to elaborate a little more on the geometry nodes because there's a few things I think you should try experimenting with in this instance. You should try changing these values. So if I do hashtag frame divided by 24, oh, actually let's just do hashtag frame. That's, and you can see it's generative. You can also then change these parameters. So the resolution matters. So I can do a resolution of three and it'll be a triangle if I change the resolution to five, it's a pentagon. If I change it to 16, or let's 32, it's a circle. And because I've animated this random value, it will um, kind of like start from an abstract shape, but then turn into the circle. Change these float values too for the size. So if I really want it condensed, or if you just want like a line, you can do that. So there are a few options with this. You can change the displace, etc. You can change the rotation. I encourage you to experiment with the scale value in some of these as well. Uh, you can get some interesting results with that by just having it be 2D instead of 3D if you just have the C at zero. So I I hope you enjoyed and had some insight from this and thank you for watching.